So before we begin, I want to remind you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can be made aware every time we put out a new video. And remember to check us out on Instagram, and now you can also find us on Facebook for exclusive content. Let's get to it. So we made it into Islands of Adventure in Port of Entry right now, and my freestyle cup is empty. So I'm going to find somewhere that I can get it filled up with water and pretty quickly because I'm really thirsty. Now, there are a number of places here in islands where you can purchase a cup and have one charged, but there's not a kiosk here in the port of entry until you get to the very end, and I'll show you where that is. And it's probably the kiosk that I would say that I use the most, probably in either park. And I think it kind of bears this question, when you come to Islands of Adventure, which way do you go? Do you go left or do you go right? Now, my family always goes to the right. We always do. Now, I know that in Crescent Moon uh, Bakery or Crescent Moon Bakery, there is the, there's not a kiosk, but you can uh, have your, your Coke charged there. You can have it filled there. And you can have uh, you can have it refilled there. So you can do a lot in in the Crescent Moon. Now there is a kiosk right up here to the right. Well, there's nobody there right now, but that's actually a kiosk right there in front of me. Is where I actually bought this cup and had it. You know, and the first time I bought it. So we're gonna go to the right because well, I'm the guy with the camera. And right up here to the right in that lemon uh, uh, slush kiosk. Just on the side, you can see a line of people waiting to use the kiosk. Now, I think that, if, if memory serves me, that there seem to be more freestyle kiosks readily available here at Islands than there are at Universal. Um, if you watched the Universal vlog, you know I was kind of surprised at how few of them there were, and yet coming here, I, my memory serves me that there's quite a, a, a large number of, of, of them. But I'm going to stop and fill mine up right now. So, bad news there is there was no ice in that kiosk, and I really need some ice. Now, normally, if I'm just doing a, a heading somewhere, I'll cut through this way and go right through uh, Seuss Landing. But there are some spots here where you can get a... a uh, a freestyle refill that I want to hit and show them to you. And so we're kind of going to do our own little version of a walkthrough here of Islands of Adventure. You're just coming along with me and it's not really a walkthrough, but at any of these two kiosks, I am pretty sure that you can also get your Coke Freestyle uh, refilled and charged. Um, I see the sign right there at the Snack Snack Eat a Snack Icy Spot. So I know you can do it there. And I'm pretty sure right across the street here, you can do it as well. In fact, I'm certain that the Fudd Nuddler Brothers popcorn is the ability to do it. And I was going to stop there, but of course, people got away right before we could get there. So we're going to keep moving forward. You see one fish, two fish right here going on and on the Circus McGurkis Cafe. I'm gonna cut through this way to stay in the shade a little bit. Right here next to the Carasusa, which recently opened after a very lengthy refurbishment. But you can see the painting, it is really nice. It seems bright and colorful and really nice. The truffula trees facade right here, right across from where they have the show that features the Lorax, the Cat in the Hat, Sam I Am, and other Dr. Seuss characters. Now, Hop on Pop, Ice Cream Shop. Attention, please. I'm not Why sure if you can do, but I'm going to guess you can refill your cup there. Once again, I want to take a look in here. For some reason, I'm thinking that there is a, a kiosk here. But there is not. So I actually want to go over here into Circus McGurkis. 
because you know what? I never eat at Circus McGurkis, and I want to find out if there are freestyle kiosks there. I bet you there are. I don't think there are going to be any kind of licensing infringements that would stop them from doing that, like you saw in Springfield and the Wizarding World areas. Yeah, and says Coca-Cola freestyle available here all day. It's inside, so let's go find it, and maybe I can get a refill as well. And there they are, all the way to the left. And it's not very crowded in here, and you can see the high in the sky. This is Charlie riding through. Definitely experience to do. But I'm gonna get myself some. All right, something to consider. I just went into Circus McGurkis uh, to fill my cup. There was not a lot of people in there, and it made for a very quick uh, refill. Now, um, there was no ice in that machine either, but I was able to get water, and the water was ice cold, so I'm not at all complaining. So I'm glad I went and did that. I would have missed that. So there is the freestyle machines can be found in Circus McGurkis, and that, of course, makes sense. I know that there are certain times of year when that restaurant is insanely packed, uh, you know, and I'm surprised it's not. You know, we are kind of in the front of summer here, and I was actually anticipating on a Friday that the park's being much busier uh, than they are today. Not complaining at all that they're not too terrible. Uh, Snookers and Snookers Sweet Candy Cookers does not have a Coca-Cola freestyle kiosk. But you, um, you cannot get, as I'm pretty sure you cannot get your cup refilled in there either. Now, up here, and here's another thing, uh, at Goose Juice you can get it charged. You can purchase a cup and have one refilled. And, and guys, just think, if you didn't know, you can also have Icy uh, fill in your freestyle cup. They will do Icy's as well, so it's not just sodas. But there are some freestyle machines right around the corner here. And I'll show them to you right now. All right, there they are. And I use those pretty frequently as well because I almost always take that cut through, especially if I'm coming up here just to film. All right, so as we continue to work our way through, coming into the Lost Continent, I'm trying to think just off the top of my head. As many times as I've been to Mythos, I do not believe that they have a freestyle kiosk there. In fact, I'm almost positive they do not. And we can also check firsthand at the, um, the sign removal of Poseidon's Fury. I know that they removed the top part of the stone that said Poseidon's Fury, and the only remaining part was on the bottom. And I'm curious to see if they've since removed that. And one of the best themed areas of any theme park ever, this attraction. It's a shame because it was themed so beautifully, but the attraction has just never been good. And then they did all this re-theming a year and a half ago. And for not, I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense. But you can see the water's turned off, the sign is gone, but the bottom escape from the Lost City still remains. Probably a matter of time before that is gone as well. Through. And coming through. Now it's approaching four o'clock, in fact it might be. And if it is my express pass kicks in for my pass, and I might use that to do something, but right here is yet another food kiosk where you can purchase, charge, and refill a Coca-Cola Freestyle. Now, if you go to the left, that takes you right to Velocicoaster and this shortcut back to uh, to the Lost Continent, or the Lost World, or Jurassic Park area. And here's Kung Fu Panda over there for the meet and greet. But, coming through here, we are on a mission to find Coca-Cola freestyle kiosk and right over here at 
Doc Sudru's dessert kebab house. Delicious kebabs. I do not think, and I don't see a sign for the kiosk, so I'm going to guess you cannot get them there. But this line right here is for exactly that Coca Cola freestyle right there at Doc Sudru's. And so, that another kiosk for So, from that standpoint, you can see already that at islands, you run into a number of them. They seem to be much more readily available and accessible at islands than they do at um, students. Here's the line. 20 minute wait for the Hogsmeade Express, which has also had a change very recently. Now the uh, conductors or the bellmen or whatever no longer come to each car and tell you the rules of the ride. They just have it done over kind of the PA system, which from what I understand does a very good job of shortening the wait time because even with Express, that is a tremendously long wait. We also know here in the Wizarding World, we are not gonna find any Coca-Cola freestyle kiosks. So we're not gonna look for them. We're just gonna kinda work our way through the Wizarding World. 90 minute wait posted at Hagrid's. But this area, as you can see, is always super, super crowded. And I do not anticipate that changing. So, we've made it through this far. Not quite halfway done with Islands of Adventure. And we, like I said, we have seen that there's a number of the number of kiosks are readily accessible here I just far exceed studios. And again, the most crowded section of the park always. And even though I think they did a tremendous job theming and breaking this all down, who could have possibly anticipated the popularity of this and having this section right here can be very difficult to get through. And you can see the frog choir. Which for some reason is insanely loud. The coaster is posting a 45 minute wait, which is uh, longer than I'm interested in, but it is after four. But I'm gonna keep going. I think I'm gonna pass. I've been on the attraction a number of times, so we're just gonna keep going. But right here at Jurassic Park Popcorn, you can see you can refill through the day and purchase and charge your freestyle cup. Now you remember, or you may remember, in the beginning of the video coming into the studios that you saw in front of the theater there, the replicas of this Jeep all in front, they are really promoting this 30th anniversary. And here inside of the Jurassic Park Discovery Center, there are freestyle kiosks. They are way in the back. You're not gonna go in, you can go inside you walk straight to the back, take a right, and they have a number of them uh, right there. And they're usually pretty well kept as far as stocked with ice and things like that. Pizza. 
Predatoria. Also, a freestyle hub. So, you can also recharge your cup there as well. Purchase them. I know I keep saying that, but you know, that's what we're doing in this video. You have opportunities and islands that seem to be just plentiful, comparatively speaking. I, you know, put in the comments, has that been your experience as well? Have you noticed if you're a freestyle person, and I think that if you come here for more than two or three days, you should be, that you're finding more and more available freestyle kiosks in islands as opposed to universal. To me, it's clear as day. So we'll keep on going, coming up on River Adventure here. And I'm going to be honest with you, even though it's after 4 o'clock, it is just so hot right now. Natural selections. You cannot do your freestyle there. Jurassic Outfitters is just a merch place. There is no freestyle there as well. There is nothing inside of Camp Jurassic for your freestyle cup. But if ever there was a day to do a water ride, today is that day. All right, so here is your next grouping. Yes, sir. Right here in front of this beverage hut. You can see the line for freestyle. The bone chillin' beverages right outside of Thunder Falls. And I'm pretty sure that Thunder Falls also has freestyle options. So we'll walk up to the door and take a look. This is a restaurant I've only actually been inside once. Well, twice. I've only eaten in there once. So if they are available in there, I don't know where. So I'm gonna walk in. I'm actually just gonna ask this guy because I bet you anything that they do. They actually do not do. Do you have freestyle machines in here? No, we don't. Right over there. They have the freestyle machine. Okay. So there's none in there. So. I was wrong about that. All right, coming up on Skull Island, Reign of Kong. Which I think is a very underrated attraction. It's one of the better queues. And I think the attraction's pretty good, to be honest with you. At the end, the, the giant Kong animatronic is just spectacular and it is posting a 20 minute wait not too bad and express could probably get you right on there so that'd be the route to take all right so keep going nice to be in the shade another kiosk here that does have freestyle options available to you See the cup right up top. Donuts, pretzels, chips. Looks like a real brief snack shop. Frostbite freezes. Also, you can get you look. You see that that gentleman right there who got icy into his freestyle mug. So the same scenario there. You can take care of your freestyle needs there as well. But it is absolutely hot. I just passed somebody saying, this is a hot day, and he is not kidding. <laughs> Slurp and snap. 
uh, Ale to the Chief. Does not look like it offers freestyle options. And so we will press on ever forward. Now, right here at Poop Deck Pappy's Popcorn, you do have freestyle options. Over at Wimpy's, you um, you do, as I recall, have freestyle options as well. But we're going to cut through this way, Blondie's and Dagwood. We'll take a look because I do not know. We have a lot of fooderies here, but yes, you can purchase and recharge a cup in here for sure. And we are coming up on the Passholder Lounge, which, um, if I'm not mistaken, also does, but it's closed. And you do see the Passholder Lounge with Coca-Cola advertising. But to be honest with you, I'm not sure if there's a freestyle machine, but I'm actually reasonably sure that there is. You know what you can do? You can go back and check the vlog I did a couple of weeks ago that offered the, that was a review, preview of the Passholder Lounge and see for yourself. All right, so coming through, we're making short work of Islands of Adventure here. Coming into the game area. And there's nothing in this area regarding Coca-Cola Freestyle. We're coming up to the Marvel section is the next area of the park that we're entering. And there are a few kiosks for sure in Islands of Adventure. And the first stop is going to be right here on the left at the Lemon Slush. You can absolutely do your freestyle options there. There's the Comic Store, one of my favorite stores in all of Universal. Now right here at this ice cream shop, you can also get your freestyle Coke options as well. And I know for sure that in the Captain America Diner, right here, around the corner, they have a freestyle kiosk. You can hear a meet and greet with Cyclops of the X-Men. This is such a popular section of the park. And you can see right here, you can get your Coca-Cola Freestyle options there as well. But I don't think you can do it here. In fact, I'm pretty sure you can at the brand new stand that they've just uh, put up here. And I'm right. Spider-Man lineup new and read there. I see Storm and Rogue making their way. pretty cool. All right, the Fantastic Four Cafe also has Coca-Cola Freestyle options, or they have in the past. I'm going to assume they still do unless they've changed that. But if they have, right across here, well, you have two options. So you have the uh, cotton candy beside where you can buy a cup, and then you can see the kiosks right there. And there is nothing over here by the Hulk and Storm Force Accelatron. And that is going to do it. That is going to tell you all of the Coca-Cola freestyle options available, the kiosks where you can get them, to the best of my knowledge, here at Islands of Adventure. So if I've missed some, hey, put in the comments, point out, because we can always come back and do this again. And I'll give you full credit for, hey, you certainly knew something I didn't know because I'm pretty sure I've, I've, I've got them all, but you know what, knowing me, I probably missed five or more. So let me know, put it in the comments.
But I'm gonna head out now because it's hot. Here's one more right over here at Cinnabon. You can do the same thing. And boy, doesn't Cinnabon sound really good. But I'm gonna pass on Cinnabon because I don't need Cinnabon. And I'm full, couldn't even eat both of my hot dogs. So what do I need a Cinnabon for? So we are gonna call it a day. We are gonna head out. And I hope you had a great time walking through with me. I've certainly enjoyed bringing you with me. You may, you know what's weird, what's kind of cool about this is because I came to the park on my own today and I don't usually do that, having you guys to talk to made it pretty nice. It was in a way like I wasn't here by myself and I appreciate you guys for watching. So if you would let me remind you to like and subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can be made aware every time we put out a new video. And remember guys, to go out and do something amazing for somebody else today. Go bless somebody else today. Don't expect anything in return. Watch what happens in your life, and we'll see ya.